So let's talk about why you need to wake a baby by every three hours when they are a newborn. Your baby, when they are in utero, are getting all of their nutrients by the umbilical cord. They are sucking and swallowing amniotic fluid, they are peeing out fluid, but they are not pooping. All of their internal waste gets filtered through your blood system. When they are born and the umbilical cord is severed, their body now needs to take over and is now in charge of nutritional uptake. Colostrum is really thick and sticky. It is a high protein, low fat laxative milk that is designed to help your baby poop. It is designed to help stimulate their blood sugars so that their body's like, hey, I have a job to do and take over those body systems. If you have a baby that's born premature, that's born by planned C-section, that's really small, um, where there is gestational diabetes or some other kind of pregnancy complication, it can take a little while for the switch to flip in baby's body to be like, hey, I was connected to an umbilical cord, but I have been born now and now my body needs to jumpstart and do something. I have to use my mouth to feed. If you had lots of birth interventions, if you had a blood loss during delivery, if the baby was breech, if they're super sleepy, tiny, tongue-tied, all these other things that can interrupt with them being able to feed and jumpstart that process of their body working on its own. So while a baby is a fresh newborn, we recommend waking them to feed to make sure that they are eating, regulating blood sugars, and that their body is doing what it should be doing. This should be temporary. If a baby's too sleepy, if we're not seeing the colostrum that we expect, if they're not peeing and pooping, then we're intervening with pumping, hand expressing, and supplementing, either with your milk, donor milk, or formula, until the baby is feeding well. Babies should lose weight for the first three to four days, and then start to regain that birth weight as colostrum transitions to mature milk. If that process doesn't happen, then we need to keep working with the baby, compensating, feeding the baby, bringing in the milk supply until things are going well. Once milk is transitioning, we're clearly seeing baby is feeding well. There's no issues with feeding. Birth interventions have worn off. If a baby is eating, we don't need to wake them. But it is important that we are feeding our babies when they're young to have all of those processes start. So yes, I hear a lot of times I have to wake the baby by the third hour. That's if baby has not regained their birth weight and is not feeding well, meaning we're clearly not seeing them suck and swallow or there's any kind of pain with breastfeeding. So yes, it is really important to keep your baby fed and to bring in your milk supply when they are newborn. If you're struggling with that, work with a lactation consultant. Now you know.